It's been many years since the first Avatar movie came out. Presidents have served their entire terms. Children have grown up and become adults, had children of their own, and died. Skyrim and Grand Theft Auto have been released 16 times each. And watching the result of years and years of work finally lay forth in front of us. Avatar 2, The Way of Water. We have to ask ourselves, was it worth the wait? No. No, it wasn't. It's not a bad film, though. So, I watched Avatar 2 The Way of Water. I've been hearing a lot of mixed opinions about this movie on the internet. Some people saying it's boring and stupid, other people saying it's a huge spectacle. Since its release, it's become sort of cool to hate on Avatar. On Reddit, every five seconds, people will go, no cultural impact, no cultural impact when talking about the first movie. And honestly, some people are lying about having never liked the first Avatar movie. It's the highest grossing movie of all time. Some people liked it. People saw it multiple times. I was just a kid when I saw the first Avatar movie. I thought it was great and then it came out on DVD and my little sister watched it probably about 15 times and I grew to hate it. But that's enough about the first movie. Let's talk about the new one, Way of Water. The Way of Water takes place like 10 to 15 years after the first Avatar movie. Jake Soli now has four kids and humans show back up and they're attacking and they gotta solve the problem. A lot of the action in this movie is really good. The special effects are great, which they should be because that's what it's known for, but nearly every movie that comes out now, especially in the Marvel movies, people go, all oh, those special effects look really bad. There's at least, even in the good ones, there's at least one special effect shot in the movie that just looks terrible. The special effects in this were amazing. And there were a lot of really cool action set pieces, especially towards the end. Water is used very well in the movie, which again, I'd hope so, since that's the whole premise of the movie. Where the movie's issues come in is with the characters, the writing, and some of the acting. Jake Soli is one of the least interesting protagonists ever, and I was hoping he died. Two of Jake Sully's kids are actually pretty interesting, and I think they have good character arcs through the movie. The other two are pretty boring. One of them is just, like, the cute young kid, and the other just really doesn't have anything going on. Zoe Saldana's character has basically nothing to do in this movie. She just kind of hisses at people and yells and is angry the whole time. Speaking of which, the Na'vi do a lot of hissing and sticking their tongue out and their mouths open to be intimidating and making noises. It looks really dumb, and the worst of which is when the human who was raised by Na'vi did it, and he doesn't even have the advantage of being tall, so he's just like standing there and he's, oh, he's just like, eh. <laughs> And it just looks so stupid. The least favorite character is Spider, this this little human dork kid. I think that he's poorly written and poorly acted. The actor who played him, it seems like his only other role is Kid on Bike from Avengers Endgame, who has no lines and is just in a scene where Paul Rudd goes, what the hell happened here? And the kid just turns around. I guess James Cameron saw that and was like, I need to put that kid in a movie. This acting is amazing. Jake Sully's performance isn't bad per se, like it's passable. But I just want to point out that it sounds like Sam Worthington is doing like a Matt Damon impression. And he's Australian, so I don't know if he learned how to do an American accent from like watching actors from Boston. But it's really distracting because he's talking about... All all this like esoteric spiritual stuff but he has like a stupid like hey capiche bro type voice Stephen Lang's character and performance is one of my favorite things about the movie. His character is so generic that it comes around to almost being ironically good, and he just has a lot of charisma through his performance. He steals all the scenes he's in. Other than my grievances with some of the characters, the biggest issue this movie has is the story. In Avatar 1, they defeat the humans quite easily and unite most of the tribes, but in this one, for really no reason, Jake Soli is terrified of the humans, so he's like, oh, we can't stand and fight, I have to run and go hang out with the water people. In the first movie, there is a huge group of humans that Jake Soli rallies the Na'vi people against the fight and unites all the tribes. And then in this movie, there's less humans and they're less of a threat, but Jake 
Blake Sully finds it necessary for him and his family to go into hiding with the Water Tribe. And it is in hiding for most of the movie. Until at the very end, of course, they fight the humans. And he's like, oh, I realize now we have to stand up and fight the humans. I don't understand what made him make that decision to want to go into hiding in the first place. Or why now the humans are harder to fight than they were before. Even though it seems like there's less of them. This movie is also heavily setting up for the sequels. It, it almost doesn't feel like a complete story without the sequels as opposed to the first movie which was a story on its own also avatar 2 the way of the water is three hours and 10 minutes long which is just way too long if you cut out like 30 to 45 minutes this movie would shoot up from a 75 out of 100 to a, like an 80 to 85 out of 100 in my opinion the entire middle of the movie is just them kind of dicking around with the water people and like swimming and it's like watching someone on vacation in pandora and it looks like they're having a lovely time and i would like to book a trip there but at, for serving as like plot in the movie not a lot goes on in the middle so i think you easily could have cut out stuff and the movie would be much better but anyway this movie's all about the spectacle and it definitely delivers on that if you like the first avatar you'll definitely like this one it's a 75 out of 100 movie for me probably an 80 out of 100 for other people i would probably recommend seeing this in theaters it's you know, it's a fun enough movie. There's some pretty cool action set pieces at the end. But anyway, did you see Avatar 2 The Way of the Water? What did you think? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe for more content. Bye bye!